Tom here from Orange Systems, and a challenge a lot of people bring up with XCPNG is the fact that there is a two terabyte limit on the current released version, but there's now a public beta of their newer storage backend that supports QCOW2 and drives larger than two terabytes. So let's take a look at it. Now, I'll leave a link down below to this blog post, but as it says here, it's finally happening after years of using legacy VHD format. We're opening up the public beta for QCOW2 support and XCPNG. They talk about some of the features, for now, they've locked it to 16 terabytes, but they plan to expand it to more later. Support for online coalescence. We have plans to improve this in the future. Better metadata management. Built-in compression for snapshots. Extensible design for future. One of the things that took this so long, as I've talked about it, I feel like a, maybe over a year or two years ago, as I know it's a question that comes up a lot, and it's because they didn't want to just patch existing spaghetti code. They wanted to rewrite things. So that's a lot of what they did here was really put the effort in. This doesn't make people happy because it takes longer, but it makes people like me happy that they really took the time to engineer it well so you get a better, more performance and not spaghetti code systems because, well, years of patching the old system leads to, well, the state it was in. They have a whole blog post I talked about, and I can probably find it and link that down below as well, about storage and XCPNG and where it was, and they talk about their work onto this future. Backup and size notes. Backup and replication and restoration of disks larger than two terabyte in Zen Orchestra is also in beta preview. This doesn't have any impact on Zen Orchestra itself, but when you connect to a system, this will technically include it as a beta because the Zen Orchestra is going to be talking to the host that you set this updated version on. So that part's technically beta. It's not anything that you have to do special in Zen Orchestra. They have an option if you want to configure the default format, but really once you install it, QCOW2 becomes the default format. That means it does not change existing VMs, but any new VMs you create will be in QCOW2. As far as testing the beta, just do a wget and they have this command here. You can copy and paste or they show you how to create it manually. Then you do yum update enable repos and copy this command, then restart the tool stack and it works. Now they do have a downgrade option if you want to switch it. I did this on my lab system, so I'll probably just reformat my lab system if I run into any major issues, but I wanted to encourage people to test this. Let's take a look at it though. Now here's my existing Olama system. And I want to point out that if I try to take this disc that's only 80, Let's go ahead and edit. We're going to change it to six and let's change it to terabytes. And we get an error backend failure because I can't upgrade this system because it's existing. I have the backup I made of Alama and then restored it. And I can go over here to the disk, change this one, and we'll put this one, let's say seven. There we go. We need seven terabytes errors. Olama models are big. There we go. It worked. Works uh, with Windows as well. I've already increased the size of this Windows disk. It's six terabytes now. One thing of note, they didn't fix this, and I don't know if this is in the roadmap or not. When it's online and booted, you can't do it. You do have to stop the VM to do it. It doesn't do it live. But for the most part with VMs, even though you expand it, you still have to go into the underlying operating system and expand it to be a larger size. Now, anytime you create a new VM, it's automatically going to be in the QCOW2 format. And if you go into the back end and take a look at it, I just did an LS. This is the mount right here for this storage. And you can see which ones are VHD, the ones that were there existing, and the new ones that I created are all in the QCOW2 format. Now, you may have noticed in the XO interface, it was only showing VHD. They do plan in the future to not only fix that, but fix the default option, which is QCOW2 once you install it, but you'll have an option to choose the different formats and be able to select that when you're creating new VMs. I do encourage all of you to test this. This is how open source gets better. It's developed differently than the closed source world where you generally don't get as much interaction with the developers or maybe you get some suggestions to them that go to dead air. The Vates team is really engaged in the forums and they want to hear from you. If you have a problem, when when you're setting this up, if you find some edge cases where it doesn't work or certain parameters that are problematic, let them know. That's why I'm doing this video to encourage more people to engage with and test because the sooner we find all the bugs, and I mean us as the community of people who are either the users or interacting with the Vate team that's the developers, it's the sooner we get this into production environments. Now, one last thing I will add, and I'll leave a link down below to it, is storage design. I have a dedicated video on that because a lot of people because they can put large amounts of data into a large disk and now a larger one with XCPNG, it doesn't mean it's the right place for it. So please take some consideration and think about storage design just because you can stuff large databases into a VM and now you can stuff larger ones in 
it doesn't mean it's the right place for them or the best performance you're going to get. So check out my video in storage design because just because they made the disk bigger doesn't solve any of the other problems and you still don't have all the advantages you may have by storing some of that data on a NAS because that may be the better place for it. But also leave down below a whole list of XCPNG and getting started videos. See in the forums, either the Vates forums for XCPNG or my forums. Thanks.